us this morning with one hour of sleep. I know, I slept about maybe an hour. I got an hour of sleep. <laughs> hard after your know. premiere. I have to tell you, I watched the movie and I had to go lie down and put a cold top. <laughs> you all work harder. Yeah. More high kicking, more swinging off things and plummeting to things that I've ever seen. I want to know this. You trained two months, five days a week. Mm. Each of you to do this kung fu. For, for this, for this film, we we had two months of, of training, and the, the first film we had three months of training. So we already sort of had, you know, the experience the last time. So we didn't have to do it as lo as much this time. Do you train in these shoes? <laughs> <laughs> these I'm ones are quite serious. <laughs> these ones are actually too easy. <laughs> That's true. They got to be even higher. You have to get a little bit higher and more precarious. You know what I mean? Like just a little bit. Li you know, less stability. You have to do Kung Fu and higher heels than this. All right. <laughs> That's true. Are you nothing? Are you nothing? You're no you're belt. Not an angel. In karate and Kung Fu. Nothing there are belts in Kung Fu. Anyway, I want to show a clip okay. because you get a sense of the extreme high spirits of yes. this very funny movie if you look at it. Thank you. <laughs> And this was what they did on their day off. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, you have some bloopers at the end of the movie. But you must have had a lot of this go wrong a lot of the time. That that's too complicated. You know, it actually, it's like. You know, you train and you train and you train and they, they give you choreography beforehand and then you get there on the day and they completely change change every single move. So you're just like making it up as you go. And you have broken your nose three times I in have. your life? Yeah, I you did. I have like a deviated set. One working oh, side of your... You know, and I'm confused as to which side it is. <laughs> I'm always like, no, I can't bring you that on my left nostril. I was like, or maybe it's my right. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But I know apparently now, I, I, apparently I might, I think I might snore. But I'm not quite sure because I haven't woke myself up snoring. But my um, my girlfriend uh, came with me on vacation. And um, she, when we were sleeping, she was like, do you know you snore? And I was like, I do not. And I, I've become my father, basically, because my dad doesn't snore. <laughs> very charming. I want you to know. And I have a feeling so will every other guy in the world. Yeah, it's really, it's really charming. You, you were at the premiere last night. And I know you said that you had to be talked into this mm -hmm. by Drew Barrymore. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to imagine. Yeah, anybody talks if you needed to be, but that's one story. But do Drew Barrymore talking you in to a sequel of Charlie's Angels today? <laughs> She's like, oh, please, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> remember how much fun we had the last time, you know, and that's really all it took is like to remember, really remember, because I was taking time off, so I didn't want to go back to work. And so she reminded me, she's like, boo, it's going to be us. It's the three of us again with McGee. And uh, and I just was like, you know what? You're right. Why would I not do it? What what would keep me from not doing a sequel to when we're getting to work every day with you guys? You said something interesting that the two of the, the three of you really do s talk about strong moments, mm -hmm. weak moments mm -hmm. that you can phone at a moment's notice. What's a weak moment for you? A weak moment for me, I think, is probably when um, I've had about two orders of large fries for McDonald's and <laughs> I've eaten them all by myself. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> do, do you let go completely between movies? Can you do uh, that? I let go all the time. The, the, the hard thing with these girls is like, and Drew will say it all the time, she's like, I love to eat. <laughs> and I'm not stopping. <laughs> this, uh, we eat constantly. That's all we do together. We just eat, 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 eat. That's, we love food. It's a lucky thing to have girlfriends who actually share the same interests as you. I think, <laughs> I think I'm a member of your club, yeah. but yes, I just so don't, <laughs> I don't get to be in the movie. <laughs> all right. You I want to do one thing. thing. I want to do one thing. Because you talk a lot in the movie about the kick, tush, I guess we can do that. Kick tush angel uh -huh. pose. Uh -huh. And whenever you're in trouble, you got to go into the kick tush angel pose. Oh, yeah, the angel pose. I just stand up a second because oh, no. I want to know oh, how you decide which it's going to be. Are these like precariously perched yeah. on the edge on of these shoes? <laughs> Does each of you have a sort of ritual one? Um, or do you just strike it? You know, it's, it's, I always, when, whenever we have to do the pose, I'm always the one who's like, okay, I'm just going to pretend like I'm doing the pose. I'm like, <laughs> 
we, we were in Japan. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, you always want to, like, ha be the one that gets to put your hands on your hip. <laughs> so you get there first. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one. I'm one. I, I have my hands on my hip. Oh, that was me. <laughs> well, we're standing. I can let you leave. Cameron Diaz is here. Thank Charlie's you. Angels. Full throttle. Out tomorrow. Here it comes, everybody. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>